I just wanted to gauge, sitting in on that conversation or actually moderating that conversation, what was the feel that you got from the BOJ governor as to his views on the independence of the BOJ and how closely central banks are, are having to work with their fiscal counterparts in this sort of pretty unprecedented era that we're seeing post and during the pandemic? Yes, um, I think uh, Governor Kuroda uh, defended uh, uh, his actions uh, strongly, saying that uh, he's um, uh, adhering to the mandates that he has to um, achieve the inflation uh, target of 2%. Uh, and uh, fiscal authority does uh, whatever uh, fiscal authority uh, uh, is given the, the mandate that it, it is given. And it goes to the similar direction and um, uh, critic or um, uh, observers say that, that that is coordination and maybe fiscal dominance and um, uh, it's a modern monetary theory uh, uh, example. But Kuroda said that no, it's a, a purely coincidence that both authorities uh, try to achieve their own uh, respective uh, mandates. And uh, that is not to say that they are, um, uh, uh, the BOJ is losing the uh, independence. So when is MMT, MMT by any other name then? <laughs> So, so I would say the um, um, uh, the MMT uh, argues that the uh, 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 the central bank is subject to the uh, fiscal authorities' um, uh, direction, and um, uh, they will buy whatever the amounts that um, uh, uh, the fiscal authority issues. But I think that there is a real difference uh, that uh, uh, BOJ or central bank has its own mandate clearly set in the document and independence written by law. And um, the, um, uh, they, they, they do with their own mandates and, and, um, uh, and, and, and calculations. And, but, you know, we, we, we have to say that uh, we, we as outsider um, has to say that maybe it is observationally equivalent that MMT uh, advocates and what BOJ does uh, or any other central bank does, I think a real test comes when a uh, central bank achieves the inflation target and the inflation rate goes beyond the target and central bank wants to tighten. And then what happens? I think the real test comes when, you know, uh, uh, the current um, uh, crisis or the uh, stagnation uh, uh, is over. So we, we don't see it until 2022 or something like that. Well, you know, Taka, another thing interesting about what Haruhuku Kuroda said was uh, at the end of his prepared remarks, and I'd like to um, just as an aside tell everybody they want to see more of this very interesting conversation with two, you know, top or three actually, including you, monetary policy minds. They can find it on the CJEB. CJEB website, but he said uh, he went out of his way to make it the last thing he said. We will do whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever, whatever it takes. Has has that not already been done? Can does is that just sort of boilerplate kind of language that Governor Kuroda uses, or does he have more <laughs> tools up his sleeve? Well, it is uh, uh, it is uh, part of the uh, you know the uh, central banker. Um, uh, uh, central bankers um, uh, language that um, I, I think it, it was uh, most uh, famously put by uh, Mario Draghi but uh, I, I think the uh, governor Croda was mentioning to to ha to, to say that uh, there, there are more tools uh, in his toolbox and uh, he, he's willing to take it and uh, of course he didn't elaborate what they are but there are tools, and he's um, uh, he's prepared to uh, use if uh, uh, it is needed. Well, you know, is he too um, is he too upbeat in his forecast? For example, he does see uh, negative inflation this year, but slightly positive next year, and mm -hmm. more positive the following year. Uh, you yeah. know, stronger economy in the second half, and he said there's uncertainty around the outlook. But is that some kind of talking 
it up? Is that some kind of job owning? Do you think that kind of growth is possible right now? Well, I, I'm sure those forecasts or projections are based on assumptions. And um, I'm, I'm sure the impo an important assumption is that there, there, there will not be a serious second wave and uh, there will be uh, uh, vaccines available <clears throat> by next year. So um, uh, those un unsaid assumptions are important. And uh, I I'm sure there are plenty of skeptics on those assumptions. Because I think, you know, Kathleen's point is, well, they've already been doing whatever it takes, right? They've already been pushing uh, over the limits of conventional monetary policy. Mm -hmm. When you get a pandemic like this, when you potentially still have uncertainty over major events like the Tokyo Olympics, what does that do to the inflationary mindset, given that it took so long for Japan to re-establish any kind of animal spirit and to get out of deflation? Does that completely kind of set them back even further? Well, the, uh, it was certainly the heartbreaking to see that Tokyo Olympic Games were postponed by a year. And, you know, even next year's event is um, uh, suddenly uh, uh, in doubt uh, if the pandemic continues uh, uh, like this um, until next year. So, um, again, there are assumptions uh, that um, we will get over this pandemic soon by uh, developing the vaccines and, and the medical treatments. Um, but um, uh, so, OK, so admitted that maybe Governor Kuroda's projection, uh, it, it's not only BOJ. I think all other mm -hmm. central banks do project that yeah. the uh, recovery, um, maybe you, uh, maybe swish, swish, <laughs> but um, uh, there are recovery projected, and that is okay. maybe on the optimis optimistic side of the wide range of uncertainties. Well, you know, uh, it seemed like Janet Yellen, former Federal Reserve Chair, of course, um, was, kind of was fairly uh, bold or some in her comments today when she said that she thinks in September, when the Fed gives it the details of its policy review, they are mm -hmm. going to move to average inflation targeting. Later, mm -hmm. she said, well, I don't have inside info. But of course, we all yes. assume that she does. And of course, she was, you were her um, macro student years ago, right, when you were mm -hmm. co in college. Uh, what, it, that, was that a kind of deliberate thing she said? And how important is that as you wrap this up for us? I would say um, uh, she has a uh, very good educated guess. Um, uh, and she was saying that um, uh, this uh, review at the Federal Reserve uh, will come, you know, ha have a con uh, some suggestions, conclusions in September. And yes, uh, she said that uh, she thinks uh, that uh, average 2% uh, inflation target uh, will be uh, explicitly mentioned, which means that there will be uh, overshooting beyond 2% after the undershooting of 2%. So on average, it becomes 2%. Uh, so that, that is, uh, I think, a very important educated guess. And I might add that um, it has been explicitly mentioned in BOJ by Governor Kuroda back in 2016 <laughs> that um, he would allow the overshooting, uh, so overshooting commitment. Uh, although it was not carried very widely in the media.